What's happening? I'm flying. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm flying. Um, so since I got back um, from from my travels and I, I was home and going through healing, um, I had gotten mixes from Boisanza. I think I have probably, I don't know, like 10 different mixes. Um, that's all I've been kind of like listening to, uh, this music at home and... But every time I get to this particular song, yeah, because it's in a mix, it would just take me somewhere, you know. Um, hmm. I just, as much as there's no lyrics, there's just something that it's saying to me that I do not understand. Yeah. Uh, but I understand at the same time, you know. And I will rewind to find it again, and yeah. dance, and then I rewind again. It just talks to me, man. Yeah. You know. Um, that's why I requested it to be played on the show today because yeah. it it is now like a big part of of who I am. Mm. Even on the weekend I was home. Yeah. And on my way back driving, this this was the song for the trip. I was traveling yeah. with Shoba. This was the song we kept rewinding, you know. Yeah. Really beautiful music. Man. Well done, Josh Milan. This is a Wisanza mix. Well done, man. It's really, really, really beautiful music. Beautifully done. Act two and four, the boy Sansa mix, Josh Milan. Who's two Salan Ganga? Eish, Mtugi, Mtugi, you know, um, like one minute you are on the highway. I almost mentioned the speed that is not allowed. <laughs> You're on the highway, 120 kilometers an hour. <laughs> yes. You know, next minute you're on zero. You know, um, I literally saw my love flashing. Sure. Um, and it, it wasn't so quick that was the most painful thing about this incident it wasn't so quick and then I woke up in hospital it it happened huh. for like I don't know a minute so I it gave me time to think while it was happening oh wow I had time to pray while it, while it was happening you know like I Ooh. had time to to um hope that it's not it's gonna be over and I had time where I was like, okay, we're dying. It's over. You know? No. Yeah. Everything happened and I saw it happening. You know, um I had a little um I don't know, I'll call it a, like a South American tour. Um yes. we always do it in January. Um so I had I think about three shows left. Um then I was gonna come home and, and, and take time off. Mm. And I had done a show in Brazil and I was gonna fl- I was flying from Brazil to Argentina um, I had been f- using like a bigger plane mm. on this entire tour and this was like the last leg and the airline I was using the, the company I was using was um, they couldn't give me a plane again like this was the last like, yeah. they couldn't so I found a different airline yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was using this plane. And this is, pri- by the way, you're flying private. Yes, 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 yes. I remember, you know, um, I, was, I was on the phone and I was like, because I was used to the bigger plane. Yes. Like, I don't know. This plane is like, I don't know. It's, it, it looks old, you know. Mm. I even took a picture of like the floor and the rugs. Yeah. Like, it, it looks like no one has been using this. I was just making these comments. And then I was told, no, you spoiled, whatever. You know? <laughs> yeah. And I just felt, I felt uneasy. Mm. You know, by the way, while I was on this tour, I think a week before, because it was so fast paced, I would take a, a helicopter. I remember one day I, the helicopter came to the hotel. Okay. It landed on the tennis court yeah. to pick me up, to land right next to a plane. Oh, you know that was that that quick. Yeah, yeah. At some point, I landed on a plane and I took a helicopter that took me to the gig. Hmm. You know, I remember the week before I, I was on this helicopter and before it t- it took off, I just had fear. <whistles> you know, and as it, it is the the helicopter was taking off, I started praying. You know, like I just felt uneasy about mm. this particular ride. You mm. know. Um, 
I sent a message to my woman. I said, I love you. <laughs> just yes. Only the following day. Case. Only the following day, she was like, hmm, hmm. I love you too, but she didn't know why. Yeah. You know. Um, and then um, the following week, then I'm on this flight from Brazil. I'm going to Argentina. Yeah. Um, took off. I had my seatbelt on. Cruise. The plane was cruising. Now I took the seatbelt on. Reclined my seat. Took a nap. I was listening to like a gospel album yeah. on my headphones. Reclined my seat. Took a took a nap, and then I woke up to something that felt like a dream or a nightmare. And the oh. plane was like shaking violently, like extremely violently. Oh. And I opened my eyes, and everyone was trying to hold on. Um, but it was really like, actually, at first, because I, I was sleeping, I felt like I was in a rolling car. Oh. It felt like I was in a car and it was rolling. But it was like moving so violently, I fell on the floor. And I still had my headphones. Um, and the, there was a song that was playing, like a gospel song, that kept repeating, hallelujah, 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 on my headphones. Oh, my. Then it felt like a dream because I'm like, yes, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, it really, and it was a loop, and the loop kept getting higher and higher. It felt like I had this choir or these angels singing to save me at that moment. Wow, like okay. continuously. And now I was on the I was on the floor. I get up, I, I I sit on the chair. We're all trying to hold on, and then the plane just dipped, like so fast and then I hit the the ceiling or the roof of the plane mm. with my head um, then I was out I was like unconscious out. yeah like, like for for a couple of seconds um, then I I it wasn't for long I was on the floor again um, then it was simmering down you know but the plane inside was so destroyed still flying Sure. The, the um, oxygen mask were hanging. Everything was broken. The, even the glass I was using to drink water, everything was broken. My glasses were broken. Um, there was water everywhere, basically. And then I was feeling this pain on, on my upper back, like sharp, sharp, sharp pain. I couldn't see it. You know, I told the pilots we had to land. We have to land. We have to land. Uh, I was traveling with two security guards, yes. um, American guys who were really tough on the pilots like you have to land you know so we landed in Uruguay mm. they were insisting we continue we were close I mean if we're in Uruguay we're close to Argentina yeah. you know but we, we had to land in Uruguay and there was an ambulance and then I was in hospital then the following day I had surgery like a five hour surgery because what? my spinal my upper spinal cord was damaged so they had to fix my upper spinal cord and and have like metal, so I have metal holding on my spinal cord now. Where's the Robocop? I'm half man, half machine. What? Ka -ka -ka I can't wait to go back Ka -ka -ka and play some music now. I'm on, I'm on fire. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, we're laughing now because you're sitting here with yeah, us. Man. Oh my yeah. word! So I spent I spent a week in hospital in, in Uruguay. Who's there? Um, my sisters flew the following day. They came uh, with a friend of ours, Sibs. Um, Christiana flew as well. So I had them every day coming to the hospital. Um, until I came back, we flew, we flew back together, um, which was like such a, like a beautiful thing, you know, because um, it's so far out. I could have been alone there. I, my point exactly. You know, I could have been alone Hence there. Hence I asked the question, yeah. But I literally saw everything man i i saw my life ending i was like this is it and i was praying i was i wasn't even praying to be alive i was just praying to get to heaven good yeah i'm like don't lock me out god Wh whatever it is yeah let so me in i don't want to be on the other side yeah, <laughs> yeah. i don't know what it looks like it, but it was done i, I feel yeah. like it was done and and here I am, man. I feel like I've been given I've been given a second chance. We thank God. And I've spent time at home, um, and I was looking forward to spending time at home so much. And now it's towards the end. I was like, but I don't feel like there's been an impact. This is like a week, two weeks ago. Yeah. I don't know what's missing. 
you know, but I, I, I feel like I'm still the same guy. And I was hoping I wouldn't feel like this when I go back to, to work again, you know. And I called Cabello, um, the pastor. Mama Lan? Yeah. Booga twos. I'm like, man, this is how I'm feeling, you know, and I need to talk to someone, you know. Um, obviously, I mean, I've been going to church. I went to my yeah. mom's church. Yeah, we saw that. You know, I went to my yeah. mom's church. Yeah. Um, I, I went with, with the family. I went again alone. I could not feel something was just like not yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I also felt like I needed to be prayed for. And sure. so you don't walk into church and ask for that. Yeah. You know, so that moment wasn't there. And I, I was just like, let me call Cabello. You know, I, yeah, I yeah. need I need a prayer, you know. And so Gabriel came, you know, and uh, came to the house. We were talking and I unpacked, unpacked yeah, yeah, everything yeah. to him, like how I feel. And, yeah, yeah. You know, um, what a beautiful, blessed man. Ooh, what a gift. Wow, man. Like, he just gave me, like, a perspective of, of, of life and faith I never knew existed. Come you on, know. you need to share. No, I, I mean, I'm gonna. You yeah. Know. So now we're sitting. And what's crazy is I get a call from Mosquito while we're sitting. Yeah. I'm like, sorry, so I have to take this call. I'm like, Mosquito, I have a pastor in my house. If you're close, come. I can't <laughs> talk to you right now. I put the phone away. <laughs> and I didn't say who the pastor yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know why he was calling. <laughs> yeah. So he comes, he rocks up at the house, and now it's the three of us. And Cabello is sharing the word of God with us. You know, um, and he says, gentlemen, are you ready to receive Christ as your savior? We look at each other, we like, I'm like, I'm, pff, no, yeah. I, I didn't call you for that type yeah, of thing, you know. Yeah. And he says, what's your fear? You know, and I said to him, my, my version of uh, people that are saved is a little bit messed up. Yeah. You know, uh, most of the people that I say they're saved are, are the most meanest people. Yeah. You know, are the most judged people. Yeah. Uh, and judging. Are the most corrupt, are the most... Yeah. I mentioned all these things. And I, I said, I'm not sure if I want to be in those shoes where people look at me every day and wait for me to fall. Oh. You know. Class house. And yes, sir. And he was like, look, this is not how it works. You know, what most people miss about Jesus is he already forgave our sins. He came and he died for our sins already. Our sins are forgiven. That's right. So you are allowed to walk and fall and walk again and stumble and fall and walk and stumble and fall. You know, you're not meant to be perfect. You know, it's a journey that one has to take for you to get. But the first thing you need to do Mm. To be able to walk is to put Jesus in your heart. Mm. Now, are you ready to put Jesus in oh, your heart? Oh, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Jesus 101. I'm like, yes, sir. Wow. I, in my house, I'm like, I mean, because there's a version of me that I've always known I'm going to be. And it wasn't arriving. Yeah. I've been waiting. Like, I know the type of guy that I'm eventually going to be. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I've always known the type of guy I wanted to be growing up. And I saw that guy coming together. <laughs> you know? Wow. I saw him and I was like, this is how I want to be. I want to wear this kind of clothes. Yeah. I want to stay in this kind of place. I want to do this kind of gigs. Yes. I want to live this kind of life. And I saw that happening. Yeah. And what I was quiet about in my mind is, I want to be this kind of guy mm. that knows God, you know, yeah. that has Jesus in his heart, yeah. that, that walks the path right. So as cool as I was, it wasn't matching up. <laughs> you know, you, you have everything, but you're still lacking. It was not matching up. Yeah. And, it's, and, and Cabello says, you are at the most amazing place right now. <clears throat> People get to this place when they are down and out where they feel like I need Jesus in my heart and you are and he said to me God never wastes a battle 
and this is one. That's why you called me. And you are not in a place of weakness. Sure. You are in a place of power. And having this moment, people ask for this in rehab, in yes, hospital, yes, in yes. jail. In we are asking it from your house. Yeah. He's like, look at your life. And here you are, you asking for the most important thing, you know. So it makes sense to me to be in this space. And then, I mean, on Sunday, then we went to church. Yeah. Um, uh, church, I mean, I was looking forward to that because I just felt like it's a step I also want to take publicly for myself. Yeah, yeah. You know, and Pastor George, George was preaching and he asked if anyone, you know, something I had confirmed already. Yes. Like something that I knew in my heart I want to do. You know, so I, I walked in and said, TRM, you know, and it, it's one of the most exciting things for me because I love challenges. I love starting something and excelling it. Yes. I cannot wait to excel in, in this. this journey. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. um, because I feel like it's going to take a while for me, which is what I'm also looking forward to. Yeah. Instead of fearing it, I'm embracing that it's going to be a journey. I'm embracing that I'm going to walk and I'm going to fall and I'm going to stumble and I'm going to keep walking, mm. you know, but I'm going to be walking right. I know. It's not humble, say, come on. <laughs> I know, no, no, no. You see, I think, I think you, you have given yourself a license to be a music maker mm. because we... We like boxing. Yeah. If we know you for house, yeah. house is gonna be. Yeah. The minute you do anything slow, it's like I wanna get much. Yeah. I, and, su and, I yeah. suffer fine. And it, that can be dangerous for artists, you know. Yes. Um, yeah. And I, I see a lot of artists lo locally that are stuck in that space um, where they could do like so much more. Yeah. You know, they have like an ear that could take them like beyond what they're doing you know yeah. true and a few comments on twitter can just like yeah yeah like i, I oh, oh. exactly and you feel like <laughs> yo i'm doing something wrong yeah, just yeah, trust yeah. it man yeah we're talking the essence of our conversation today with uh with block coffee is lessons because you are failing high yeah <laughs> oh can somebody say that you are failing high. Amen. Because you are at the echelon of your career, yet here you are, you are able to say, wait a minute, something yep. is still missing. Yeah. What else do you want to do differently or you wish you could have done differently? Or let me rephrase that. What are the lessons so far big for you in terms of the failures you have now incurred? Um, it's just like, not being so hard on myself. Yeah. That's number one. Um, coming from where I come from, I pushed myself so hard. Um, mm. Like 20 times hard, maybe 100, you know, um, to make sure that I live my dream. Mm. You know, I, I just believe like God gave all of us gifts. Yes. And it's not one, it's many. Yeah. <clears throat> and our our job is to find out what those gifts are, yeah, and go for all of them. That's right, you know. And but we live in a society where we have no opportunities to even find out one. Yeah, because we are survivalist. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now most of our people are like that. Yes, and so when you are given a, an opportunity uh, to run with yours, you better run. Yeah. You know, and I've been on that journey, you know, and I've been hard on myself, pushing myself so hard. And so one of the lessons is just like, take it easy, you know, don't be hard. Because people also just see the wins. Mm. You know, and, we, uh, and everybody loves a yeah, winner. Yeah, and we'll celebrate just, those wins. Yeah, people see the wins. And, and while you're winning, we're waiting for you to fail so that the others oh, can also have a chance. Oh, man, I don't even want to start <laughs> <laughs> so there's so many also when you look at me uh, as someone who you'd say oh I'm inspired by your wins just know there's always there's also failures yeah 
and there's a lot of them. Yeah. You know, and some are personal, some are private, some are, right. are in my head, you know, where as much as I seem extremely confident, yeah. some are just out of like me not being confident enough. Yeah. And maybe you are more confident than me <laughs> yeah. in that space. Yeah. You know, uh, but it's just like giving each thing time. Can I be personal? Please. No one gets into marriage to get out. Yeah. Because even when you stand there, you say, till death. I'm going to fight for this. I'm yeah. going to fight for this. You failed. Dismally. Um, and for me, I think I modeled marriage my own way. Oh. Alone. Tell like, me. Because of my upbringing and my parents failing in marriage mm. um, and then me not being raised by both of them, mm. I created a, my own world where I'm like, you know, when I get a chance to do this thing, I'm going to do it this I'm way. I'm going to do it this way. Yeah, yeah. And so much that you, you want to lead in everything. <coughs> Oh. You know, you want to cover everything. You want to be, uh, you want to be the driver of this thing. And so much that you forget that there's someone next to you who, who also has who a, holds the map. That's right. Because the journey for two. Yeah. It's so you, you're a sure. driver, there's a navigator. That's right. And both and, of you are important. And vice versa. Yeah. You know, um, so every time I would, so make a move that I thought was big for us mm -hmm. and it wasn't received like that, a part of me was dying. Oh. Because I'm like, trust me, I know how this thing is going to work. Trust me. Yeah. You know, like, let me take this thing forward. Instead of trust us. Yeah. Sure. So, and every time I, I, I make, I mean, I was talking to you off air about one day, I bought my ex a um, very fancy car. Yeah. And the response wasn't what I expected. You yeah. know, she yeah. wasn't ex as excited. As you expected it. Yeah. yeah. And it was like, for me, especially at the time, it was like a super fancy car. And I, yeah. I expected Even beyond for you. I expected it to even cry. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah. She was like, oh, it's nice. Thank you. You know, and it sat with me heavily for a long time. Um, as someone who was not appreciating. Mm -hmm. But what's you know, the lesson there? S sometimes we, we are ahead. And we, there's things we wish for people, there's things they wish for themselves. And, and we make a mistake of imposing our wishes on Ooh, them. Come on now. You know, so it's like me saying, I want to go to the moon. You know, the moon is always known as the place where, yeah. you know, take you to the moon. That's right. And then I take my partner to the moon. And I'm like, we are at the moon. <laughs> and she's like, okay, well, I want to go back home. <laughs> we are on the moon. I'm like, are you serious? Like, look at where we are right now. We, we are above everything. She's like, yeah, but cool for you. It's Thank the same you. thing. Thank you. Until she's ready to go to the moon. Oh, yeah. Then we can go together. Oh, yeah. And we both feel the same way, you know. Um, so there's so many of those things that hit me later, yeah. you know. Not yeah. to say that then I want to try marriage again. Just understanding it where I'm like, hmm, I could have been easier on that. Yeah. You know, I, I could have taken time on, on that. I could have, you know, when you come out, you... It's so easy to say she's wrong. She did that. She did that. You know, but if, you, if you're going to sit mm -hmm. and be honest with yourself, right. you're going to find a lot of loopholes in the things that you've also done. That's right. And that's when peace comes. Yes. You know, that's when you, uh, as I was saying. And early, healing. Healing comes. That's when you, um, you need to take it easy on yourself now in forgiving yourself, you know, because it's, it's a journey, man. No one is going to come out perfect. Mm -hmm. We're going to die not perfect. You know, we're going to keep trying. We're going to read books. We're going to, like, I'm listening to um, one 
called um, Becoming Nobody. Oh, because personally, that's all I've been trying to be, somebody. Yeah. So much that I've lost who I really am. Um, because somebody gets invited in certain tables, somebody gets seen a certain way, somebody yes. gets seen. Most of us, I mean, as black people, we are not seen. Yeah. So you work so hard to be seen, to be known, uh, to live in a certain neighborhood, so yeah, you can yeah, be yeah. neighbors with certain people, so they can see you and acknowledge your existence so much that you lose the essence of you. You know, so I'm trying to learn to become nobody. Yeah. And I walk in the room as sure. me, not as someone who drives a certain car, lives in a certain place, have a certain amount of money in my bank account, just walk in as myself. And I can walk in then in any room without feeling like oh, I don't belong here. Yeah. You know, because as a human being, I belong everywhere. What was happening? Because these are the songs that you were playing during your healing. Yeah. How did you bump into Bonga? Bonga, there's a, there's a house music remix uh, done by Pablo <laughs> uh, Fierro. He's one of my favorite producers, by the way. Yeah. Um, so I, I used to play the song a lot in, in Ibiza when I closed my set. Oh. The, re the remix. Yeah. You know, um, and now when I was in the hospital and I was about to come back home, I started making a playlist sure. for the music I want to listen to when I'm home. Yeah. And because um, I love this song so dearly and I know it's a remix, then I looked for the original. The original, yeah. You know, then I added it on my playlist. So I've been playing it a lot at home. But I did not understand it when I was playing it as a house yeah. uh, song. And and it spoke to me more now. Then I, I went to find out the lyrics. Oh, okay, and? Um, it, this is a, a dying man saying goodbye to his son. No. Yeah. Um, he's talking about how death is a thief and he's asking the people to look after his son because he's dying. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, this song yeah. caught your ear. As a house song. As a house song. Yeah. Probably years before yeah. the reason you're sitting here today. Yeah. And here it is now, speaking to that fear. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Oh my gosh. And I didn't know, um, like I said, what it meant uh, or what it would mean to me now, like at this time. Um, mm. And even when I was loving it as a house song, I never thought, let me check the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't matter. But it, it also went to me slowing down. Just the yes. tempo of the song is like yeah. you've been moving too fast. Listen to the real Thing. version, you know, of the song, and then that's where the truth is. That's where the the gospel is. Wow. Now, when you, I can't help but, for some reason, your grandmother keeps coming up. Yeah. Every time we talk about you facing challenges because going back to our earlier conversations um, she always comes up as the matriarch who said hey stop feeling sorry for yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. stand up yeah do this yeah what would she say now would you still be oh, the same it's, words it's so complex yes it would be um uh, i'm saying it's complex because unfortunately relationships change when you become successful. Um, so she wasn't, when she left us, she wasn't as tough. <laughs> okay. You know, I saw a different version of her, like a much sweeter version of her. Did you like it or did I, you? No, know? I loved it. Okay. I loved it. It's what I've been yearning for for oh, years. Okay. You know. Um, was she tough for you or tough on you? Do you she, know what I mean? She was both. Okay. Yeah, she was both. Um, at times, I felt like I, I want to run away from home. 
<laughs> that tough. Yeah. You know, and I had this cousin, uh, I have this cousin, Usbu. So I'm, I'm, I was busy doing a family book, like the ancestry of my family. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so uh, it talks about my grandmothers and my mother. And so this po- uh, portion that talks about my grandmother, Umama Duna, I send it to my cousin. Um, Usbu, and Usbu reads it, and Usbu comes back with this like long essay. Yeah. You know, and I didn't ask him to. Yeah. Because he's a, he's a cousin. Yes. You know, so I was just showing him as someone, you know, Close, we, yeah. we grew up with. And he, and I read it, you know, and I was like, but this wasn't the plan because we're almost done with the blue book. Mm. I don't know what to do with this essay, but yeah. I, I read it and I'm like, wow. And I sent it to this lady who's helping us put the book together to add on the book because I realized that Usbu has a different version of my grandmother than me. Okay. And he has the truthful one. Yeah. The version my grandmother gave me before she left is the version Usbu knows. Oh, <laughs> okay. You know, she yeah. loved him dearly. Yeah. So he's the only one who can write these things. Yeah. He's the only one who saw that side. The softer. So I could not help but I'm like, we need this in the book. That's right. You know, so right now she would she wouldn't be so tough because she she didn't see me like that anymore as a kid who needed to be pushed and That's right. she saw me now she yeah, left us yeah. seeing me as a family leader as someone who yeah. you know takes care of everyone and yeah. so it will be it will be different you true. know i would get more nurturing if anything yeah 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 are you raising your sons the same way which oh, version man. of grandma are you raising your sons with it's so complex with my sons, you know, uh, because the, my absence steals everything. Oof. So when I'm around, I, as tough as they know I can be, I'm nice. <laughs> yeah. You know. Are you trying to compensate? I, I think sub, subconsciously, yes. But because I know it, I'm also woke in trying not to do it. You know, um, so I will make a tough decision and I will walk out of the room immediately. Because, because you don't want to see their faces. Yes, and I don't want to, I don't want to feel like, um, okay, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah. You know, if, if I'm disciplining, if yeah. that's a problem, I will put my foot down and, and be so proud that I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. be, because I, I, the little time I have with them, it's like, it must be good, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and there's lessons, you know, and every time I, I am tough, I get it. They're like, we don't like you like this. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm, I'm the boss. It's got to be done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I navigate it, but it's not easy. Pay yourself a compliment. <sighs> it's compliment, it's well compliment day. You got to, Blackhoff, you got to say something to Nati. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love that. To. I love that because... I, I, I thought it would be tough, but I remember I, I, I tweeted it once where I put a, a picture of a young of me, a uh, picture I took with my, my cousins, Sisem Lazi, outside our house, and we were all ashy. Mm. And I posted, yeah, 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 fully, <laughs> fully, you know, and I posted that and, and I, as I said, and I'm still saying it now, like, I'm so proud of you, you know, um, with all the adversities that came through and 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 the storms and it's hard being black coffee in South Africa because the country it's hard being um, Tyler it's hard being Trevor Noah it's hard yeah. being um, anyone who reached a certain level of success that's right because the country is not emotionally ready. Hmm. to support you all the way. They will support you, yeah. but there's a, a a place where you get where they're like, I see Australia, man. Mm. You know, mm. you can't get this successful. Yeah. And then you will feel the friction. Hmm. You will feel the envy. You will see in the tweets. Uh, you, you will feel it, you know. Um, so it's been so hard to navigate the space yeah. where someone can tweet nonsense about you and then you leave Kai FM, you meet them, and they're like, ah, oh, let's take a picture. Yeah. You know, and you take a picture, and 
they tag you and then when you look at other tweets, how oh, much? Mara, this today this guy was exactly. saying nonsense about me. Exactly. So, and it's not anyone's fault. It's just like emotionally, we're not ready to accept ourselves as success. Sure. So it's going to take time for us to embrace all of us, you know. So you're saying to Nati, it's hard. It's, it's been so hard, but well done, you know, and not losing your cool and, and fighting as hard as you fought, you know, and creating a world not just for yourself, for your family, for your friends. You know, I'm super proud of you. You're playing at a gig. Me? Mm. Ah. We'll announce it after the news. The Blind Spot on the best team in the city. Uncle T, my son loves music, but his father won't pay for it. He has been making music and DJing since around the age of 12. Just like his uncle Nje, they have a love for music. Our son completed his metric last year and he made it clear with Tiena. He wants to explore music and sound engineering more this year. But see, Obaba Ikeaibo, he just refuses Gutsinje Uzoi Patalelayen. So, honestly, me not working has made it difficult to provide for my son. However, my ex has been the one providing for our son since he was young. So I feel bad for my son and Manjish. He doesn't want to study anything else besides music. And his father, he doesn't see the value in it. I can see Gutsinje, my son, is taking this very hard and it has affected their relationship. But Mina, as the mother, I'm stuck in the middle. And I don't know if I should side with his father or encourage him to go to school and study something else, just to ensure he's dad continues to pay for for him financially or must I support my son and hope that Mina Nayenje will, will be able to make a plan I just don't want my son to end up at depressed in Lini what could be my blind spot to clarify um, they are co-parenting they are no longer together mm-hmm. all right so that's why she keeps saying my ex my the, the father so the father is the ex Okay. Just to clarify that. All right. All so right. they are raising this son who is into music like Umalumewake. Mm. So clearly the maternal it's side is business. very mu- musical. It's triggering this one. <laughs> is it triggering? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? It's complicated, man. You know, because you, as an outsider, are you now dividing this family? You know, <laughs> she's saying, the mother is saying, um, just for the father to continue support this kid, she might have to allow yeah. the kid to go study yeah. something else. So chances are, if you come on board and say, oh, we'll take the kid to the music school, the father is going to walk away because mm. now, mm. you know, and then Lale, who raises this boy then? That's right. You know, you've paid for the music thing, but who's going to be the father to this boy? That's right. It's very complicated, man. Mm. It is. I, I would I tend to agree. But I'd also say I do understand where the father is coming from because ever so often we also hear artists saying that choosing this path of the arts is also a very difficult one. You've mm. got to have a thick skin. Mm. Uh, it might not always start off smooth. Mm. So there are parents who would generally say perhaps try and be a doctor or a lawyer. Yeah, we know yeah. now that even doctors are not getting placed yeah. in government institutions. Right. But nevertheless... It seems that artists themselves, if they have the choice, they'd rather say to their children, perhaps don't take my path. Yeah, sure. So I, True, right? <laughs> yeah, I wish that for my kids. You see? Yes, you see? Yeah. yeah. Because it's hard, eh? Yeah. But mm. also I have friends who are um, um, other things like DJ for fun. Mm. So mm. go go be a lawyer and you can still DJ. Yes. You can still play music. You can still, you can still make you music. Know, there it, we it, go. Yeah, it's, there's family issues here. And yeah. Mm. I'll, 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 I'll position my son. Uh, Taboza is 20. He loves this music thing. He loves DJing. And we said, you can do it, but find something in it that you can then professionalize. He's doing law. He's going to focus on copyright law mm. because that's where his passion is, music. Nice. And he's still making music. He's still DJing on the side. Perhaps that's the solution. Mm. JJ? I agree with that solution. So my ex-boyfriend... Oh, I still like him. <laughs> I'm smiling when I talk about yeah, it. I can see. No, we broke up. We broke up. <laughs> yeah. His parents were like, no, they're not going to uh, pay for sports. He wanted to do sports psychology. They didn't understand him studying yeah. sports as an actual field mm. of study. Yeah. And then they, had, they, 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 they strike to deal with him. 
that um, do this other what they regarded as field of studies like you know your medicine yeah. Whatever, yeah. so he did I think psychology at yeah. some point and that worked out he graduated and they said now you're free to do whatever whatever you want Yeah. in case that doesn't work out because you know then you've got this also, you've got something else to fall back on yeah, yeah. so I mean, they could just it can strike also a deal. be unfair like that because it is very unfair you want to equip your child to be able to work on their own mm. yes that's what it is. So Absolutely. don't say, for me, go study law. Mm. And then now, for you, go do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you want to help them be their own man. And True. them being their own man means, if he says he wants to do music, let him do let music. Him do That's what happened with my son, who for years I, took piano lessons. He always had a mini studio in his room. Yeah. But never seemed interested in it. He wanted to do other things. And one day I woke up. He's like, I have a gig. Hey. And it had nothing to do with me now at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know where in the world he is now. He left last night. He's somewhere DJ. But he chose that. Yeah. Mm. You know, and yeah. he's running with it. Yeah. You know, and as, as I said earlier, I, I wish they could do something else. But he chose it. He chose My it. My job is to equip him to be able to walk in whatever path that he chooses. Oprah interviewed a, a psychologist who wrote a book. Mm. And I forgot her name, but what stands out from that interview, this author says, our job as parents is to become irrelevant to our kids. Yes. Mm -hmm. the when, when you have been a great parent is when your child never needs you. Mm. Mm. It's almost similar to what is called a leadership adage, that the best boss every day must be working themselves out of a job. Mm. Power. That's power. Hey, Baba, uh, are but you? I, but are we solving this one? We know. I don't know. We I don't listen. Think, I don't feel like yeah. we are because yeah. essentially. No, no, remember, that's why I said it's complex. So. Yeah, our job is not yeah. to solve. Our job is to highlight blind spots, and we've highlighted a few. Okay. The decision is up to her to take which one she wants to yeah, use. Yeah, it's true. Mm. It's not wrong. Because I'm, I'm on both sides. I'm yeah. like, allow the kids to do what they want. Because what you said is powerful. Time, yeah. You know, the father is a father. Yeah. You know, um, and a son he, needs his father. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. it's hard to just like choose one side you can't choose one yeah. side yeah it's more complex than that Aye. before you go Nati thank you girls thank you thank you lady <laughs> one of my biggest worries about the accident is you standing for hours playing again yeah you ready I, I want to find out if I'm ready um my my weekend uh, of work starts in two in two weeks I think it's 18th or, or something I mm. go to Miami mm. and I've been home I've been resting yeah I'm fired up to go back um so I I took a gig um you took a gig yeah I took a, a gig um uh, when I, I called up LSG I was like man what? I, want, I want to come play come on yeah I want to come play to your thing are you the surprise act I mean, it, the show is sold out, so I, I can now say it. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Wait I, a minute. <laughs> um, I, for me, it's like... What? Look, Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. <laughs> Bread for Souls is happening tomorrow. Yeah. It is sold out. Yeah. And on the poster, surprise act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are? I mean, shout out to everyone who bought a ticket without even knowing. What? It shows It shows that the show is about music. It's not about who's on the flyer, you mm. know. Um, mm. I'm shaking. I, 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 um, for me, Bread for Soul is the beginning. You know, there's so much. I actually wanted to call him before my accident to go play. I wanted to call him and be like, I want to come play here. It's a beginning, beginning in a sense of like musically, it's where I come from musically. And so given what I've been through and doing this show means I'm starting again. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. So I was like, I want to start. Back to. Yeah, I want to go, I want to like play a set of my beginnings, you know, like where I come from musically and it's the best platform for me to play. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. 
I hope I don't hurt myself shaking it. <laughs> you know? Take it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but have yeah. fun. No, no, no. I, I, I want to try. This is like, a, also I told you, I'm like, this is how I'm going to know if I'm ready yeah. to start moving, like for real. You know, so, I, man, I'm, I'm excited. God bless you, Nati. God bless you, my May brother. May he protect you for us, for you, for your family. Thank you, sir. Keep Thank shining, you. my brother. I appreciate it. Thank you.